Ours is an alliance of mutual enemies and interests. Do not test it. Too many pointless interruptions, and she could not carry out her sacred duty. Round one. Fight! Welcome back to Covenant Wars. In the first part, we looked at half the classes, all the Covenant class changes, all the things that we thought were really fun, weren't really focused on whether or not they were OP. There's a lot of tuning still to be done, but now it's time for the remainder of them. Uh, let's go to the Pallies. Um, Divide Toll. I have no, not lost my love of this spell. It's still weakest on Ret, or it feels the weakest on Ret for me. But after Prop Paladin and Holy Paladin, Divine Toll is my go-to. Love this spell. I would take it on Rhett anyway. It's really Divide good on Rhett as well. <laughs> yeah. With the fight types that exist in the first tier and in M+. So, yeah, with it being a one-minute CD, big AoE burst. Yeah, it's really I good. I wish it was execution sentence on Rhett. That would be so that cool. That would be so dumb. Oh, um, God, it'd be fun, though, right? It would be Five fun. giant golden hammers falling from the sky. Oh, it would baby. be fun. But, yeah, I, I, think, I think Judgment is totally fine. And it's just not as visual... Um, yeah, as, that's the problem prop. with it. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're five, five Avengers shields out. It's so good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and same with the holy shocks. Uh, it's actually fucking legit. I can't believe they haven't nerfed it. It's, but it's seemingly Blizzard has gone mental with Avengers shield. Like it seemingly is all Paladins cast now. It's just Avengers shield. They have Legos that reset it and all sorts. Yeah, I think I cast um, like eight in a row the other day, which is super fun. Right, you fucking maniac! You absolute maniac! Why do you have a ret Venthia Retribution Paladin, and why have you been playing it? Because uh, I hate myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ashen Hallow. It's terrible. Um, Still. I hate it so much. The thing mm. was, for a point, it was simming the best by a lot. So I was like, oh, yeah. if I'm going to have to play this as Paladin, I might as well try it out a bit properly. And it is just bad. Like It's just a four-minute CD. doesn't line up with anything, ever. Um, mm -hmm. It is... It's terrible. I can't explain how bad this is. I never want to play this ever again, ever. Even if it's a tiny, yeah. even if it's a tiny bit better DPS, I'm gonna play something else. Not gonna I lie. played it for an afternoon. Uh, I was like, okay, I come in, I tried to like shift my bias, which is impossible, obviously. But I was like, right, I'm gonna come in fresh and I'm gonna try and make use of this. Two casts after using it, I was like, the spell is garbage. Like you just throw it down. You don't get what. It doesn't do anything well. That's the problem with it for me. It doesn't do any particular thing well. It just looks kind of cool because it's a giant red death and decay, which isn't enough because its actual functionality just sucks. Like the Hammer of Wrath, my Hammer of Wrath procs all the time when I'm playing a Paladin. It's not a big deal. Um, it's It doesn't feel fun in any way. I, I, it's the cooldown that kills it. I would rather it be dramatically reduced in cooldown and effectiveness, and at least then it could do something with it. But as it stands right now... Get yeah, out of here. the Hammer of Wrath procs do hit really hard as Rhett, mm -hmm. so it's kind of it's kind of useful when you don't have wings up. But like, why would you want to use a four minute CD without wings up? Exactly, that's the point. It just doesn't do anything well. Yeah, it's <laughs> At best, it slightly supports something you were doing anyway. Um, uh, practical. I don't have much to say on Vanquisher's Hammer. It's still as good as it always was. Super practical, super useful. It's not fun. It's sensible shoes for the Paladin. It's the Paladin's sensible shoes. It's yeah, a very reliable, very effective spell. It's fine. Uh, no issues with it there. On the other hand, though, Blessing of Seasons can literally just fuck off and die again. Um, now, I know a lot of people actually quite like the new version of Blessing of Seasons. Uh, again, I tried to go in with a fresh mind. I played with it for about three hours, and I, I, I will be honest with you, after the first 40 minutes, I just forgot it even existed. I just couldn't care less. I just don't even press the button. I don't think it was on my bars. The... Ian baited me so hard with this one when they were like, oh, we're yep. going to change Bait it. Baited us. Yeah, we're going to change it. And we're like, oh, thank God. I hate buff ones. Like, this is going to be... Just anything would be better. Anything. Um, and yeah, they just... Instead of making it a party thing, they just made it a one-person thing. Yeah, it's almost it. like you have a 25% useful Inquisition. Like, that's what... If you remember how much rage there was over the years about removing Inquisition. People were like, this is really irritating. I have to spend holy power just to put up this buff. And Blessing of the Seasons has, like, one, maybe two useful components of the four buffs it gives and cycles through. And so you press it four times in most cases to get something good out of it. Yeah. And even then, it's only for a few seconds. And it's just like... <laughs> 
get the hell out of here unreal so for me i mean if i for, it's, it's divine toll all the way regardless of what i'm playing yes. divine toll every day Agreed. all day every day has been since alpha let's move on to the big priesty priest again uh fed i think you should take the lead here you've been i don't oh know my. have we really played priest in a while i've kind of I've... got over the the joy of it and i've been playing other things not that i dislike the priest but my focus has been elsewhere because we were on priests so much for a long time yeah i played it so much in early alpha beta the um yeah, I, I actually played it in raid testing, um, or rather, mm -hmm. raid this week and didn't really enjoy it that much. But, Kyrian, I guess, Boon of the Ascended, we should go first. So, yeah, Archon Priest. You basically yep. become this being, you slap the ground for AoE, and you send a bolt at one target for a single target. Um, it's a fairly interesting spell. I believe it's a decent healing cooldown, if you play yes. Disc or Holy. Which is kind of cool. Having another healing CD is kind of fun. I probably don't think you'll use it, just because other things are slightly better. For Shadow, the way to play it was to just ignore the AoE component and press the single target ascended blast on CD, which is kind of rubbish, actually. But Yeah, the interactions, just, it feels like you stop playing a Shadow Priest to play Boon of the Ascended. Yeah, I, I just, I really dislike it. I, I don't like it much for any of them. Even, no, even as the healer CD, I don't like it too much, to be honest. I think, do you think it's because it takes over how you play your character? Because if you're, if you're not sure about Boon of the Ascended, guys, it changes two of your spells, and you need to use them during the Boon of the Ascended. So you turn into this big angel, and then you have to press these two buttons to build up stacks for the final effect. Uh, so you kind of have to stop playing your character and the player Boon of the Ascended character instead. Um, yeah. And that's what bothers me about it. It's like, I don't want that, really. I enjoy playing my character. I don't really want to stop and do this thing. Like, for Shadow, everything comes from a dead stop. Then you go and play Boon of the Ascended for a little while and then go back. Uh, and it's... A Boon of the Ascended isn't fun. It's two buttons. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like doing a little vehicle minigame. Um, I don't like this yeah. spell at all. I was initially excited about it when they announced it because Archon Mage and Diablo is actually really fun. Um, mm -hmm. But it just doesn't feel like that at all. No, it feels like they should have given more to it. Uh, I would have preferred it if, it, like, it, you know, for this, it, like, gave you a barrier that you could move around with. That would have been really cool. You know, some sort of effect. Instead of changing what your buttons are, it gave you some sort of passive effect. Yeah. I think that would have made it so much better, is if they just, uh, even if you, like, if you're if an AoE spell, so if you're a shadow, it, like, radiated void energy out of you or something like that. Um or even apply dots, you know, because we already do have that functionality in the game. So you could have it, like, refreshing your dots if you're studying things. That would have made it cool if you turn to a giant shadow creature and similar for holy radiating healing or whatever. I think that would have made it way more fun. Uh, this, you just kind of play this mini game for a while. What do you think of mind games for the Venethia? Um, I kind of like it, and the only reason I like it is that it's not, it doesn't intrude on your gameplay at all mm -hmm. in any way. Which is yeah. probably not a good thing to say about a spell. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a long cooldown vampiric touch for me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's, yeah. Uh, you just fire it and feels forget, exactly the same. But for a priest, that actually feels kind of good in comparison to the rest of them. Uh, its effect is quite nice. Like, uh, you, I, you, we used it both in raid testing, I think, uh, putting it on the targets at certain points. It actually does feel pretty good. Uh, you feel like you're doing something useful, although you are generally just using it for your own DPS. Yeah. Um, it, and I've seen a lot of dungeon healing priests getting great use out of this when they know something dangerous is coming, putting this out. Uh, and also in PvP, this thing has been absolutely brutal in duels for people who don't understand what mind games is. And I've seen so many priests nearly dead put this out and then heal to full off the back of it, uh, which has been really funny to watch as well. Uh, it's certainly one of the more interesting ones uh, that you get out of the priest. But for me, the most interesting thing is actually Unholy Nova, but... It's awful to use. <laughs> yeah, I used it on our Denathrius testing just to see how it would go. Now that sounds like it had been okay because we were all you're all clustered for Denathrius and with yeah. the ads, and it was fine. Um, yeah, that's all it is. It was fine initially. It, it had mad interactions with Disc. Yeah. So when you played Disc Priest, especially in M Plus, you could run into a pack, press this button, and just like go make a cup of tea. So like mm -hmm. that that stuff was kind of obnoxious and they've toned that down substantially to the point where it feels like as a disc priest you're probably it's not that useful even they've done that no, a lot but... with a few of these abilities where it's like it's super strong and now it's garbage um 
Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this one. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I think if you want the AoE component, go Boon of the Ascended because it just does more. And if you want the heal component, probably go Boon of Ascended because it does more. Yeah, it's like the balance is off because we accepted that this spell has a lot of quirks. Like on Holy, like uh, Finn's saying, on Holy Nova initially, it has problems. Like it has a 15 yard range. You have to run into melee if you want to use it as DPS. That doesn't work in a lot of scenarios. Like especially if you're playing Shadow, uh, you want to be out at range. And Dis often wants to be in that situation as well. But they, you know, healers do have the freedom to kind of move around the encounter space uh, more so than a DPS would. But you accepted that because it did a lot of damage. It was like, oh, okay, but when I do it, it works out kind of well. So maybe when the ads are spawning and stuff like that, I do want to run in and, and pop bombs. But then they nerfed its effect as well. And now it's like, it's just, I just run in to do a, basically a holy nova. Yeah. <laughs> so I've kind of like flustered it away. Um, and the same can actually be said for the spell. I was really hoping to be awesome, but the more I've played with it, the more useless it is, which is Fey Guardians. Um, I'm not sure if you feel the same way, Finn, but. I don't enjoy it's this. It's just. Spell. No, it's. I, I was really looking forward to playing this and played around with it a little bit. It felt cool to press because it's visually kind of sparkly and cool. And the Night Fey visuals are always awesome. But the actual effect of this spell, kind of garbage. Uh, a little dribble of insanity if you're Shadow. Uh, a reduced cooldown on... Uh, is it Shadow Fiend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if it did Prep Infusion, it might be better. Yeah, true. True. If it did Shadow Infusion, it'd be kind of better. Um, but ultimately, this this spell tries to do five different things and does them all badly. Yes. Uh, that's, it, does that, you agree with that, Finn? Yeah, I agree. It does five things poorly. Yeah, instead of one absolutely. Thing well. Exactly. So I get pff, mind games for me. Yeah, mind games as well. Practical, useful, good for all three specs. Mind games. I would take it any day of the week. Not doesn't have any massive issues, so we're good. Yep. Uh, let's move on to our rogues, which have also had dramatic changes, including a brand new covenant spell. They actually lost the one. Well, Blizzard definitely didn't just press copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> copy and paste on deadly poison and call it a GG just to get something out there. Um, so this is the one we kind of mentioned at the beginning, Finn. Echoing Reprimander for the Kyrians. Uh, I blasted this in the alpha. Hated it. Um, now I've got add-ons. Now I'm tracking it properly. Totally fine with this spell. And I had no issues utilizing it properly. Uh, the bonus... If you can't remember it, this is the one that gives you a... Does a bit of damage and it tells you that if you do an ability with the combo points it tells you, you'll get a massive seven combo point ability. No problems with it at all, Finn, but I don't think you agree with me. I hate it. <laughs> still, really? Yeah, I still hate it. I think like the effective way to use it is sub, which is like the spec that I enjoy most, is to use it on rupture. And there'll be points where like it'll be off CD, but you don't need to refresh rupture rupture, so you're just like fishing for nothing. Like a big eviscerate. Mm. Eviscerate doesn't even do most of your damage. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't like it. It's fiddly. It's still annoying. You'll still sometimes miss combo points, even with tracking it. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping you'd join me in the Kyrian fan club, because, uh, again, I found it fine. The buff's up long enough so you can work around it. Uh, it once, I, once I got a nice rhythm going, and I kind of started to adjust maybe a spell priority, knowing that this would give me one, this one would give me two so i could start planning a little bit about it and then more often than not what also started to happen the more i played with it is if i considered my combo points before i pressed the button more often than not i could get it to actually land on the one it was going to give me um so if i was like like say zero combo points if i just done a finisher i had zero combo points pressing it then there was a reasonable chance it would give me what i needed uh so i could use it immediately um Definitely found it better than I did in the alpha and the beta, that's for sure. I mean, it's slightly improved, but, like, having to use, uh, I don't know, having to use um, your AoE Shuriken Storm thing to generate one combo point on single target so you can proc it is annoying. And, I, that, and, and that's, I'm not changing my mind about that one. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I think, what do you think of flagellation? I did a video on flagellation. Um... I don't like the spell at all. I consider this completely fire and forget. They have changed it from mastery from when we did our first look at it to haste. I still don't care about it. Um, I think that might even be worse. Yeah, it depends on your situation. 
It's just, this one's just fire and forget for me. No interest whatsoever. You press button, and then in a, a, a really inopportune time, this, it's so hard to even set it up to maximize it that you just don't bother. Uh, yeah. You need like a, it could proc, you know, like whenever. It's just so annoying. Um, no, I'm surprised this is the replacement they came up with for Deadly Poison. Or Slaughter, as it was called. Uh, any fans in your club of this one? Nope, zero. Zero, fair enough. What about Boat Spike, which is now, as far as I'm concerned on Boat Spike, which was the big hitter of the rogues, this was the one every rogue was destined to be. This, When I played around with this for an afternoon, it was not worth the global cooldowns to even utilize the spell, and I ended up just ditching it entirely. It's super dead. They can't mm -hmm. balance anything. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, there's so many spells in here that were really broken, and instead of just balancing them, They've crushed them to the extent yep. that you will never play it like this. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the worst simming covenant, covenant ability right now, by far. Um, I, I'm not surprised. Like, it was so obvious after th three or four minutes in a dungeon, like, actually trying to use Bone Spike, even on the bosses, was a waste of global cooldowns. Yeah. And that was sad. Like, I, I did throw it on a boss because... But you, that's one global, right? You throw it on the boss and you forget about it. Yeah, you, you put the bleed up. And I'm not even sure that's worth it now. But yeah, yeah. the thing that was doing lots of damage was that the spikes that you had out, every time you cast another spike, they all also cast a spike onto your target, mm. which was causing substantial damage. They just, yep. instead of tuning it, they just removed that part. <laughs> um, we'll just take out 70% yeah, of the we'll functionality. Just take, we'll just take out, like, <laughs> I don't know, 80% of the damage of the spell. Done. Um, so yeah, it's rubbish now. I still love it's the spell. And the, the annoying thing is, it actually has some crazy fun Torghast powers as well. So I was yeah. having so much fun in Torghast with this. You can have it at like an 80-yard range in Torghast and stuff like that. <laughs> but I agree with you. It's fun to play around and to be like, okay, what am I going into? Mark that one, mark that one, mark that one. Then wait a second, mark the other target. Like, putting it up, it's almost like the... Like, you're garroting everything, but you can do it at range. So you're, like, chucking these bone spikes out. It feels very much like you're like a ninja-style effect. Mm -hmm. And then you look around, and it's like, okay, but I did, like, all this stuff. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Yeah, they're ticking for, like, 20 damage. This is great. Yeah. Um, I feel like a toddler putting stickers on people. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> nice to Such me my warrior shame. is, like, rampaging and ripping things to pieces. And I'm like, yeah, but look at my cool little bone spikes, yeah. though. And they're like, uh-huh. Compare this to Condemn. <laughs> similar um <laughs> yeah it, it was once good it's no longer good that's the f. summary f, f the for our bone spike brother yeah um maybe got to i think we have different opinions on this one as well i really hate this spell uh this is the night fire ability sepsis um there was dreams i had of this spell being cool because it gave you vanish now it has, it's still got the original problem it had which is if you're using this solo it just resets the mob if you are fighting it but you can beat that by the way by spamming your attack buttons when yep. you know you're about to vanish you can prevent that from happening but if you don't do that then it will just reset the enemy um but obviously in a raid and dungeon environment that's not as much of a big deal the problem i found and i was really looking forward to using this for sub especially uh is that a lot of the benefits you get from sub from vanishing you kind of have up all the time anyway um like um uh, expose weakness and things expose weakness is kind of up all the time i and i have other tools in order to activate these things yeah and it's not a great deal from outlaw or for assassination so whether you found something different but i found this really lackluster it's kind of lackluster i like the i like the vanish and if you combine it with the 100 percent crit lego it's kind mm -hmm. of fun um that's the only really combination i think that makes this like a fun thing to play is that the vanish that sepsis cause causes gives you 100 percent crit for like six seconds that's kind of nice mm -hmm. but yeah it's not amazing but that's yeah with that one lego yeah with that one lego yeah of course <laughs> yeah it feels like sh I, f I feel like this spell was designed by people who didn't play rogues a lot or weren't aware of the actual class changes that were happening i uh, like well coming out of vanish is really cool which it is and there is benefits to it, unquestionably. Uh, it's just that when you actually play it, it doesn't really seem to fit in. Like, I don't know whether you had the same thing. It was like finding a spot in my openers and things didn't really work. Because I would do, like, if so, you go to Shadow Dance, and then you got very quick cooldowns now, so you can kind of Shadow Dance again. And then you got your Vanish, and then you kind of like, okay, well, I can probably use Sepsis here. Um, 
to squeeze it in and get some extra stuff. Certainly if you're maximizing your output. Whereas yeah. with the others, I don't know. I just hoped for more from this spell. Yeah, same. Same. Mm. I, I still think it's good. I still, the functionality behind it is fine. I don't think it's amazing fun, but I'd still take this over Echoing Reprimand. So would you consider this your favorite rogue choice? Right now, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got a different way. I'm going to carry in. Uh, I've got used to it, and I, I'm, I'm okay with it. It does. It is awkward sometimes. Finn is, um, that, we're not in disagreement there. Uh, there is some times where you just can't get it to line up, and sometimes you're doing that old sub-favorite of waiting for a combo point to just generate itself, uh, which does happen, which is... Part, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I've come back around. After I'm surprised how much I used to hate it compared to now. Uh, but we're happy. Let's go over to the shamans. Uh, sensible shoes, Vesper totem, Finn? <laughs> um, maybe. maybe. I know what your favourite is. <laughs> I, I think there's a couple of potentially sensible shoes ones now. Um, yeah. Vesper is big nerfed versus what it was before. It still yeah. works all the time, though. It still has all the same benefits as it had before. So it's, mm -hmm. it still works in every scenario. It still works for all three specs. It's decent. It's decent. It's not exciting. It's not exciting, um, no. No, it's not exciting. What well, is kind of exciting, but maybe misleading, because it just does absurd amounts of damage, is Chain Harvest. Because it's just a fire-and-forget spell, ultimately, that just hits like an absolute truck. <laughs> Especially for enhancement, because it benefits from Maelstrom Weapon. Yes, um, it does. But then the rest of enhancement does no damage to offset it. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think like, that's so mean. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's true. Um, but, yeah, this thing just hits like a truck. Yeah, it's but that's all it does. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, but even for healing, it does the same. Uh, it, it's a, a super strong heal as well. Like it's a mega chain heal. It's a mega chain lightning. That's all it is. It does nothing else. Uh, but what it does that very, very well is what I'd like to put out as uh, as we demonstrated several times now is you can go from like 0% health, be surrounded by enemies, fire a chain harvest, be at full health and they're all dead in one global cooldown. Yep. I suspect the hammer is coming, Finn. I suspect that too. Yes. I suspect that too. It, let's assume it wasn't just doing a shitload of damage. It's... It's pretty dull. It is just a big chain heal, but chain lightning. I still, That's all yeah, I still do think it's the easiest one to f fit into the enhancement rotation. Mm -hmm. Even if it wasn't doing mad damage, it's still probably the one that flows best in enhancement right now, in my opinion. I would still throw it in with Resto and uh, Ellie as well. Um, primordial. Well, we're gonna get, let's get to primordial wave, I suppose. Uh, what's your thoughts on primordial wave these days? Then still really fun as Ellie. Super fun as mm -hmm. Ellie. Um, yeah. Resto, it's kind of decent, ish. I'm not the the riptide. <laughs> the riptide is cool. The next healing wave, like also hitting all targets of your riptide. I don't know. Like you just chain heal anyway, right? So I'm not sure yeah. you like care too much about that. Um, for enhancement, it's still awful to use, in my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, f whoever designed this spec plays Ellie Shaman. Yeah, for sure. They were like, oh, what if, and it, it was broken recently. I'm sure many people saw ultra videos flying yeah. around of primordial wave lava bursts flying all over the room uh, and procking off themselves, etc., etc., uh, with Ascendants. That is gone now. Sorry. <laughs> they did take that out rather rapidly. Uh, so that's not going to be a thing either. But it is, uh, again, it's such a pigeonholed spell. It yes. really is designed for Ellie Shamans. Uh, resto Shamans get the benefit because they're a caster. I think it's accidental uh, that they, <laughs> they get any benefit. And Enhancement looks at it and goes, why? Why would you do this to us? Um, I really wanted to play Necrolord. Well, tough. Um, Fae Transfusion. Oh, for the Night Fae. Does it provide another choice? I would say this is spectacular. It works. I'm okay with Fae Transfusion. I think it's all right. I'm fine with it. It's okay. Yeah. I got some grief last time for saying it was like really fun. I, I still think it it is kind of fun. It does a big blast of AoE, which is kind of cool. A couple mm -hmm. of the specs lack that. Um, it was causing Resto Shamans to like top DPS meters for a little while. Um, they still are, by the way. Still are, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the one thing is like, for Ellie, it's kind of annoying. You'd rather just be Chain Lightning. It looks cooler anyway. Um, for resto, it's kind of fun because you can DPS while you don't heal. For enhancement, you don't really want to stop pressing buttons for three seconds to use this. 
Mm-hmm. So what they did was they made it generate one stack of maelstrom weapon, which is not enough. So it's not enough. It, if that was more, I'd be more tempted to look at this in more detail. But at, at the moment, it just doesn't flow properly in any of the. It specs, feels like really. you're waiting for a gap where you haven't had procs for a while. Yeah, that's how I felt playing it as enhancement. Is like every now and again you do run into those points where you haven't had storm strike proc, you haven't got any maelstrom, and your things are on cooldown. It happens. Uh, usually not for like three seconds because enhancements kind of fast and furious but that's when i kind of felt like it fit in whereas you do want to line it up for other things it's nice the little burst of healing you do afterwards is kind of nice though you kind of like explode <laughs> into a bunch of heal yeah uh, that's kind of cool you get that hybrid hybrid effect out of it um what are you choosing your favorite then let's let's do two here so you're doing all o- what's your overall chain harvest yeah, I think Chain Harvest too. Over Vesper, I've I've got tired of Vesper. It's it's not it doesn't do it's not exciting enough to warrant the management it requires, especially if you want to drag it around with you to get some benefit. Um, chain Harvest just works, but it is literally just Chain Lightning or, or Chain Heal in one spell. Yeah. Uh, for enhancement, Chain Harvest. Even if it wasn't overpowered. Yes. Yeah. Just because it works with Maelstrom, it fits into the, the rotation. Yeah, nicely. exactly. You just replace a lightning bolt with it every minute and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Ellie, Primordial Wave. Primordial Wave. Yeah. Resto? See, I like Fae Transfusion as Resto. Yeah, I mean, it, probably for dungeons and stuff. I'm not sure it's raid utility. Um, hmm. I don't know. Chain Harvest, probably then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or maybe even Vesper would work for them. It's sort of all over the place. Shaman's probably one of the worst ones for different specs wanting different abilities i think well we're about to see another one uh, <laughs> let's go to the warlocks uh let's go to the warlocks friends the deck the necrolord let's start with it the necrolord decimating bolt crushed into the ground the giant monty python foot did land on it uh not surprising but did they overdo it finn a little mm. yes um i think it still has a place with like incinerate cleave on destruction it was never particularly good for demonology and the only reason it was good on affliction was that your drain soul hit really hard and that doesn't anymore well it does but only one drain soul cast yeah so, they did well technically a 66 percent nerf on this thing yeah they they nerfed this thing to the ground i don't i don't think it was particularly fun to play with before it just had good interactions with a couple of the specs so I don't know, I'm kind of happy that it's not the best. Yeah, we had mixed reports coming from the Warlock Discord, and we, we obviously know some uh, very engaged Warlocks. Most of them were actually happy this happened. Uh, they were of the opinion that, one, it's not fun that we don't have any other choice as a Warlock. That's not fun at all. And the actual effect itself this uh, isn't that interesting. Whereas vice versa, like I say, it was mixed from the Warlocks I spoke to. Some of them were like, well, I really liked the play style with it, which is what it's a subjective thing. Uh, but definitely did open up some other options, maybe. Let's go over to Scouring Tithe, Finn. Um, I played around with this again yesterday, actually, before we. This is one of the last ones I needed to do because I kind of went alphabetically. I was not a fan of the spell at all uh, on any of the specs. I just didn't enjoy it. I think it's, I think it's good on Destro because you can have a kit. Hmm. I think that that's the only reason that I would play it, is that... Uh, yeah, yeah, it was... Uh, especially with demo. <sighs> uh, it, <laughs> I was, like, messing around with it. It's, it's weird to me sometimes when you get shards back, especially because your talents have, like, refunded shards a lot. It didn't feel... It, it didn't feel good to me. Yeah. It's weird when you get, like, random generation of, like, I don't know, say, combo points. And... Yes. And it uh, it disrupts the ability that you're trying to use. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's I just like a weird it. one. Scouring tide. It's effective though. That's the thing. It is effective. It just didn't feel nice. Yeah, I, uh, to mess around with. I definitely think the only scenario it's nice in is when you can have a kit, because if you have a kit onto an ad that is going to die on a different timer than the ad you're currently on, you either get two sets of five shards or you get a reset of the ability and five shards. Yeah, which is really and strong. That- it's very strong. Like, if you can maximize it, it's, especially for a 40 second cooldown, you can make some crazy things happen with it. Um, impending catastrophe. I, I'm with you now. I love this spell. <laughs> I think they killed it. Uh, but 
it's really cool to cast a spell. You actually feel like you're sending some sort of Street Fighter tile bolt at the target. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't even care about the curses. Casting the spell just feels awesome. It applies smart curses now as well. Yes. Hell you yeah. remember how much testing you put into that? Hell and you're yeah. like, it's not working. So it does do that now, which is big. Uh, yes. They nerfed it into the ground. It hits like a wet noodle. Um, yeah. So that's pretty unfortunate. I think it hits for like less than a corruption. <laughs> if, if I think the numbers are right, pretty sure. I believe you are correct. Although it feels awesome to cast. And it's that's such a good thing. cast. Yeah. It is. But I remember you came to us, I think it was last week, you're like, are you aware it now hits less than a corruption tick? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, like no. 20% spell power. Yeah, it's it's low, whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's based on the curses now. They're, cl- they're classing the curses as being super effective. Yeah. Um, and it's it does do dots to nearby targets. It just doesn't do quite enough. Uh, I hope it gets. I hope it gets a little buff because it's easily for me the most fun one to press uh, out of all of the warlock abilities. It feels it feels very warlocky as well. The red effect works really well. Please please make it good. Um, Nightface Soul Rot. Yeah. <sighs> mm, I I I'd forgotten how bad this was uh, until I went and played with it for this video, and I was like, God, this spell sucks. And it doesn't do any damage either. I don't. I might. I, I, may, I don't think I'm crazy, but it does like no damage, and the drain life effect also does like no damage. And it needs pairing up and propping up to even get use out of it. I'm not sure where you stand on it, though, Finn. Okay, curveball. I like this one. Oh. So. Oh wow. Um. So the the dot itself actually hits pretty hard. I think the effective way to play it is to put the dot out and then not drain life. That that's my understanding right now. Is that you just use it as an additional dot, but. I was playing Affliction with the Agony stacking Drain Life damage tree or mm-hmm. talent, and it burst AOEs pretty hard, like with this. So, yeah, some setup required, but it's a minute CD. That's, yeah, you can probably do it in dungeons. I think if you if you stacked up your your Drain Life damage and then used this on an AOE pack four targets that, that's what i really don't yeah. like about it is this you know in, like we talked about earlier we know with the uh sepsis for the rogues if it wor- only works well if we kind of wedge it and cut and paste and stick things to it and kind of add on to it that's what i don't like like i what i enjoyed why i didn't like about it is picking it up and playing it felt just super useless uh and then i thought back to the, what we did in the beta which is like well you can pair it with this you can pair it with that and you know and harvest life and things like that and you can get some pretty cool stuff out of it and you're absolutely right it does do that it just for me it doesn't feel good but hopefully for other people it does yeah i i kind of like it i i think it's useful <laughs> it's useful in certain scenarios and it does require you to play affliction for it to feel like it does any damage but yeah it, yeah it's fine it's fine. Per, what are you picking then? Per demo means, by the way. None of them are good. Um, no. <clears throat> Scouring Tithe, probably, right? What am I picking? Uh, Scouring Tithe, probably. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, probably. I want, I want to pick Impending Catastrophe, but... Same. It's It needs to do damage. <laughs> like, for pure fun, Impending Catastrophe. And that feels stupid, but the cast animation is so good that I really enjoy it. Uh, scouring tide though for practicality unfortunately which leaves us with one more Mr. Finn <clears throat> one more the warrior waiting in the wings the warrior yes yeah yeah okay <laughs> let's get started this is a little all over the place uh, we have you know what's interesting is the things we're about to say I'm, I'm actually not sure because we made a point of not talking about this before we did this video so I don't know whether your opinions have changed on some of these things but I am unquestionably going to get aggro from this video, from this section alone. Uh, let's it. start with the Spear of Bastion. Yeah. Shitload of damage, fire and forget, like it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. The, uh, it, the, like, it has a little utility. Drawing effect is kind of cool. Yeah, the, the tether. Mm-hmm. It's fi- Yeah, it's fine. It's good. It is kind of fire and forget. does a chunk of damage, but especially yeah, as Prot. It's a Decree. This felt more satisfying as Prot than the others. Mm. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, that snap aggro when you throw it in, you know that everything's locked to you when you throw this in. Especially as a one minute cooldown. You can control those enemies that are trying to get away from you. I really like Spear of Bastion. Uh, a lot of people have told me I'm crazy. It has been nerfed heavily over the course of the Shadowlands, but then it's been readjusted. It's got a conduit that goes with it, and it kind of feels good. <sighs> Condemn. I'm sorry, guys. I still fucking hate this spell <laughs> so yeah. much. I can't stand Condemn. Yeah, I know... 
so many people love Condemn, and I get it, I get it, but I cannot, in good conscience, condone a spell that just takes over your character completely, like this does. And it still does. Outside of massive HP raid bosses, and even they are full of ads where you're condemning, you're just spamming Condemn. How about you, Finn? Because I think you enjoy Condemn a lot. I hate this spell. Fair enough. Welcome to the team. I, I hate this spell so much. that I don't understand... No one has been able to explain to me why they like this spell properly. Right? I, I, other than, <laughs> other than it goes burr. Like that's pretty much it. Like that. That's anyone. Anyone. All I ever ask is like, why do you like it? Cause damage, though. Like, okay. Um, yeah, it's rubbish. <laughs> I hate it so much. You just press one button. I was considering it, making a little meme video where I just had condemn on every button on my bars and just tried to do a Torghast run. But it, that, you're memeing, but that's what it's like when you play this yeah. thing. It's not only super strong, because not only does it do a lot of damage, it also shields you. So when you're in the open world, you charge, condemn, condemn. You have a shield, which means you don't take any damage yourself, so that you don't have to worry about any of your other sp spells abilities for the most part. It also hits really hard and has a reasonable chance in open world to take things to execute range, to which you condemn again. And you very like lacklustily activate other spells in your bars now in dungeons all you do if you pick condemn as your covenant is you wait for targets to come near you that you can condemn and you either cleave that or you utilize that in order to generate more rage and do more damage so you basically just like fishing all the time condemn yeah. condemn 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 and it sucks i really detest the spell um but yeah, like everybody it. else loves it so <laughs> there you go uh, but that is the reason. I want to be clear. The reason is it takes over your character. Your entire playstyle revolves around Condemn. Everything about Fury Warriors, everything about Arms Warriors, everything about... Uh, well, Prop Warriors are a little different because they still have to use defensives. But for everyone else, you're just looking for things to Condemn all the time. Uh, so, yeah, not fun. Uh, Conqueror's Banner. I'm still okay with this spell. I get why people hate it. I think it looks cool. They've nerfed it down, so it only buffs two people now. Um... It's impractical is my problem with it. Like, it's just generally an impractical spell. And it's a real shame. Yeah. It's another one of those spells that was like, oh, you're, well, you're going to have to bring this. I'm like, oh, just make it two people instead. Like, all right. Yeah, so um, that's gone. Yeah, that part's gone. I think it's fine. It's not too yeah, exciting, to be honest. No, it, it just looks awesome. Like, the, the banner looks of it. amazing when you're carrying it. Yeah. Right? It's such a cool spell to have. Its effect is lackluster, like you said. Uh, it takes too long to build up the glory, you know, to really get it going. So you mm. can't really use it on the opener effectively uh, without feeling like you lost a large chunk of its effect. The 20% health is, I mean, it's good for tanks, but even they aren't that impressed with having 20% extra health unless they really, really need it. Uh, and the 10% critical strike chance is great. It's fun. It's just a sh I would love this to be baseline. I would love to see this baseline and remove any effects on someone else. I would love this to have just been a new warrior spell. Uh, so I miss. I guess I miss the banners. I like the idea of the warriors throwing down their banners and going to war. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, we are finishing up, unfortunately, as the Night Fae uh, warrior ability with the spell I still cannot believe works the way it does. Ancient Aftershock. I, 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 another spell I just detest. Because I can't even... F even when I use this, its effect is it garbage. It's like, it still doesn't feel good to use. Um, even Because it's AoE capped as well, so this effect... The, the main effect of this dot is that it does a little knockdown, but that it generates rage for you over 12 seconds. Um, but it's only 16 rage per enemy over 12 seconds. So even at 5 enemies... The way rage works is it's quite bursty, right? If you got yeah. your two-hander, you hit with it, you get a chunk of rage. And with Fury, you're generating rage from all your abilities. So it barely feels like it's happening. And this is what I truly dislike about it, Finn. Yeah. Yeah, th this spell is just really lackluster. I don't, I don't like it at all. I wouldn't want to use it. No. I've tried it multiple times. I've tried it as proc, so I was like, oh, well, it does have the knockdown and we get more rage for defensives. It just turns out playing your character normally... It's there. The extra rage is obviously there, but it just doesn't feel like it's doing anything. You, you, I expected it to kind of like pour in, so you'll see a rage bar be like flooding in, but you don't get that. Um, and for a one and a half minute cooldown, <sighs> sorry, Blizz, not digging yeah, it. Doesn't uh, which much. makes my choice pretty easy. Finn, Spear of Bastion 
even if it is fire and forget works for me every time i'm happy with it yeah i agree spear for me too the big spear takes the lead <laughs> that's all the covenant spells finn we've been through them all what are your thoughts overall on the covenants uh, uh, in terms of their spells at this point at this After point, we've been through the alpha and the beta, and we're so close to release. Yeah, at, at this point, I think Blizzard realized what we realized like, the first time we tested them, in that for these to be balanced, they're going to have to be less impactful. So over the course of alpha beta, they've just made them all worse. Like, not necessarily less fun, but like way less impactful to your rotation. But they do way less damage, have way less impact. So I don't know, they, they matter less to me now than they did at the start. Yes, I would I would agree with that final sentiment exactly. Is this matters a lot less to me now? Uh, in some cases, I've just stopped pressing them because they're just not that. Like I say, they're so unimpactful that they're nigh on not useful outside of certain scenarios. Uh, so not to say some of them aren't still fun. I still like doing the big chain harvest. I still like using slappy hands. Uh, I still like casting convoke the spirits, even if it's now practically useless. Right? Uh, it's still cool to throw down the, the spear of Bastion and use the Conqueror's Banner. Those spells are still fun. Um, Effective-wise is where the issues come in. It's a bit of a shame that we didn't just get four new talents for this expansion, and they could have not done what they've done here, which is squash them and squash them and squash them so that they don't re go, don't get out of hand. Yep, agree. Yeah. Bit sad. Either way, there is your Covenant Wars, guys. Some shifts and changes since the last time we were here. I want to thank Mr. Finn for spending time with us. This has uh, been a long one. An hour and 20 minutes going through all these. But this also is the... But bear in mind, this is all the culmination now, Finn, of how long have we been testing this stuff? I feel oh like it's God. been like six, seven months. I think about two years. <laughs> about two years, with no release date in sight either. Uh, so it's a lot of playtime. A lot, a lot of hours have gone into checking these things out. Remember, we're going on our feelings. They're still balancing these things. Maybe they'll buff some, maybe they'll chuck the others, but our focus here was on what's fun and interesting to use. So thank you very much for listening, guys. Cheers. You'll say bye, Finn, or what? Yeah, I'll say bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>